Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. Today's tutorial is from Spiral Ring Spiral Wings Fly Free. And he's asking basically or he or she's asking, um, how to work on two separate projects at the same time. And in this tutorial I'm gonna show you basically how I started project one, project two, and then I imported media and swap back and forth between each project. So without any further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so what we have here today is a tutorial basically showing you how to work on two projects concurrently. So edit a little bit on one, then you know you get sick of doing that one, and you switch back to another one. So what I'm gonna do is create two different movies. I'm gonna import two different types of, of um, media so we can kinda know which one is which. I'll do a little bit of editing on one, then I'll switch back to another one, then I'll switch back. And uh, it shouldn't take too long. It's pretty straightforward, but I definitely can understand the concern of losing uh, losing your, your edits or your, your movie. But the most recent version of iMovie is set up to autosave. Of course, if it crashes, which it doesn't do very often, but once in a while it crashes. If it crashes, then you'll lose... Uh, after that last autosave point, but usually you don't lose too much. So, and unfortunately, there's actually no way to you know there's no file save anymore. It's just basically, it saves while you go. So let's go ahead and create two movies. We'll call um we'll call like Project One and we'll call it Project Two. So first thing you're gonna do is actually hit on that new button here, new movie. And of course, I don't like using any of the themes. So I'm gonna go no theme. We'll call this project zero one. And you notice down here it created something down here. There's nothing in it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create another one. And this one is gonna be called project zero two. Okay. So let me throw in a SD card with some video on it. So we can import some new movies. And this video is coming from Cars and Coffee in uh, Austin recently. I want to import from here. So I'm going to import this clip. And I'll import another cut. Whoa, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. Import. I don't want a new movie. I already did the two projects. Okay, then I'll do like an old Jaguar. So it'll be really easy. No, this one, a little bit longer. Really easy to distinguish which movie I'm on. So for project one, we'll start with the white. Uh, this is what a Toyota GT or BRZ, Super BRZ or a Cyan FRS. What is it, FRS? Yeah. Same car, three different companies basically, rebadged. But anyways. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm on project one right now. And you'll notice right here it says project one. So I'll just, I'll drop a little bit of content in here. And then I'll do like, let's see, I'll do like a mosaic transition. Then I'll do a fade to black. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Actually, let me mute the sound so you don't hear it. Okay, so that's project one. Now, if we go back up to our event, which both of them are in, I can click on project two. There's nothing here. It's a blank movie. So let me go ahead and throw that Jaguar clip in here. Actually, I don't need all of it, so I just need about this much. Drop that here. And I'll do a transition, but I'll I'll do a different like a whatever circle one or something, and then I'll fade to white or something. We don't need that here. Okay. So again, back to my event. I'm on project two right now. Yeah. So let's go back into project one and let's let's import an image or something. Did 
I take all the images off? Or ah, let's do another um video. Give it a second to import. Then I'll do an in. Yeah, this video is super HD, so really, really heavy files. Watching the hourglass, watching the clock go. Okay, so in, in point, and let's do a quick out point. And I'll just drag this right here. And let me shorten this. And we'll do a picture and a picture right there. Again, I'm just doing random stuff just to show that you can go back and forth. Okay. Now, I'm in project one. Let's jump back into project two. And this one, I'll import your question, something from the desktop. Yeah, just, which will be in the final product. You'll see at the beginning. Okay, okay, I know, I know. So now, go down to the bottom, we'll grab this, we'll drop this in here, and we'll make that a uh, cut, oh, we'll make a picture in a picture too. But actually also I wanna make it fit, that's better. And put it somewhere, wherever. Okay. So there you go. We've done project one. You know, we've done a picture in a picture video. And then we jumped back to project two and we did that. Then we could jump back to project one. So it's really simple, straightforward. It's more difficult probably to manage in your head <laughs> than it is in the program. So, you know, just trying to figure out where you left off and where you, what you need to do next, what you want to do next. But all the media pretty much goes into this bin down here once you start importing things. So you can access the media that you're, you've imported on in any project pretty much. So, okay. So spiral wings, fly free. I hope that answers your questions. If it doesn't, you know, hit me up in the comments. Don't forget subscribe, thumbs up, all that jazz. And uh, if you want to support, there's a link to my Patreon campaign to become a patron. You can also uh, use my resources link down there. And if you need to pick up anything from Amazon, there's some links to the stuff that I use, like my MacBook, uh, the software I use, the mic I use, et cetera, et cetera. All that jazz if you want, if you want to help. Okay. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching and peace and a whole bunch of alohas thrown back at you.